Yo, what's going on, guys? Happy freaking New Year. It's your man, Chukubu Ikem, ready to give you some more AI just to get this ball rolling for the new year. And we're here to talk about Canary AI, guys. Canary AI is a completely new and revolutionary email client software that integrates AI into your day-to-day -day emailing experience. It brings in tried and true conventions like organizing your emails by promotions, updates, and socials, along with bringing in some new AI stuff like writing your email emails for you or summarizing your emails for you all within the app so you don't even need chat GBT or Claude or anywhere else you could do it right here using canary AI and let's jump right in oh and there's also a mobile version so definitely stick around for that because that's worth getting into as well now the beauty is that you can get canary AI on Windows or Mac Apple or Android which means we all can enjoy it and the installation is really easy across all of these platforms when you look at the design of it it's very new it's very modern it's very up-to-date it just feels right but what we're going to do now is that we're going to try using Copilot to write an email for me. Here we're going to click try now and it says <laughs> it actually has like kind of like achievements for the more that you uh, explore the app. It kind of gives you like achievement pop ups like this. Um, and again, that's why I do like about Canary AI. It knows that it's 2023. So it keeps things engaging. It keeps things fun. So I do like that. We can either click done or discover more. And if you click discover more, you do end up here with other things that they recommend to you. What would happen is that you would come here and compose a new email. What I love is that they show you how you would do it. So let's click try now. And let's say that the email is sent to myself and the email I want it to be on congrats on getting to 8,000 subscribers. And then you would click this AI button and the prompt is congratulate Chagavelli on getting to 8,000 subscribers. And then you click go and Copilot is going to come up with it right here. And I, and again, a lot of details I love. You see this nice colorful thing that was subject. Congratulations on reaching 8,000 subscribers. Hey Chagavelli just wanted to drop you a quick email to send my heartfelt congratulations on hitting the 8,000 subscriber milestone. Your dedication and hard work have truly paid off and I couldn't be more thrilled for your success. It's incredible to witness your channel grow and evolve, reaching new heights with each passing day. Oh my goodness, I'm actually... Damn, this is actually making me feel good. You have consistently delivered, engaging and inspiring. All right, well, listen, I mean, geez, the freaky wheeze. All right, so let's insert that bad boy. And so again, we got a new achievement. Thank you. And then we're going to send that bad boy. And then what would happen is that we would come over to my regular Gmail and then boom, I got it. Chuckavelli Gaming. Hey, Chuckavelli, just wanted to drop you. So the email did go through. Now, here's a couple things for you to know. Unfortunately, it did not send my name. I would have had to have gotten rid of this and write my actual name. Still, though, this email was really, really good. I could definitely see myself using this way more often with the more people that reach out the more people that connect with me to be able to have ai to work with some of this would be a big game changer and if you click on one of these emails like the one i just clicked right here you'll see something at the top right here that says summarize this conversation so all you would have to do is click on summarize this conversation and it's going to be pretty dope what happens you see scientists have developed molecular jackhammers that have a 99 percent success rate in destroying cancer cells this breakthrough offers potential for an end all cure for cancer the treatment utilizes da -da -da. so it did summarize part of the email but not the whole email so look at this right this was kind of like the big one scientists destroy cancer cells using vibrating molecules but now there were definitely other things in this email such as businesses that will use ai to replace those that don't there's that one disney loses copyright on mickey mouse so there was definitely other things in this email that the summarization did not cover so the thing about this summarization is that it does work best on emails that are kind of like a one big paragraph thing rather than very deep and multi-layered like what we're seeing right now. So for example, here I have an email that was actually a business offer for me to review some type of a mic, right? What would happen is that if I click summarize on this conversation, you'll see we'll get a much more cohesive summarization than what we got before. So Miranda Pierce, a distributor of Tech Zone Audio Products, contacts Chuckavelli Finance to invite them a talent moment project. They offer a professional handmade microphone in exchange for using it as a recording tool to showcase something interesting in a video. Miranda also mentions a possible collaboration involving an XLR Pro Audio mic. They provide links to their website 
internet and successful collaborators for more information. The email includes contact details and references where Chuck Valley Finance's information was found. So it's pretty good because yes, that is in fact what this email is about. So that's pretty cool. And if you were getting tons of emails like this, having this type of summary available to you, it would be very game changing. What I would love for them to add is a voice function so that it can just say all that to me, kind of like Siri, rather than me having to read it every single time. But I'm sure as we evolve with AI that that will be in the future. So I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so that email was pretty good, but now let's try doing something a little different that I think is really cool with this software. Let's try to compose another email. And what happens is when you don't have anything written, if you click this AI, it'll tell you to give you a prompt. But if you already have something written or if you already used the prompt and you now have something in the body of your email, the next time that you click that AI button, you'll get some options. You'll get proofread and you'll get adjust. So let's try the proofread for a second, right? Let's say that we misspelled passing. Let's take out the P here for inspiring. And let's take out one C for success here. And we'll take out the K for keep up here. Let's take out the, the R and subscriber. So seeing your subscribe count rise, let's see how well it proofreads. So we're going to click proofread right here. And Copilot is going to run through it and see where the mistakes are. So if you can remember the mistakes that we made, we made passing with one S. It added the S in this new version. We took out the R from seeing your subscribe account go rise. Now they fixed it to subscriber account rise, which is great. It also fixed the K in the keep that we had taken off. It also fixed the C in the success that we had taken out. Yup, it fixed the inspiring when we misspelled that. So the proofread actually works very, very, very well. I like it a lot. And then, you know, we could just insert it and now it has fixed the mistakes that we had. So that is really cool. I do like that. And this time we'll write our name and we'll send. And then when we make our way back to our email, you'll see, yup, my name is there with the same text that has been fixed. And I like that it added emojis for me. I thought that was really cool. Let's try writing an email about sharing my condolences for Chuku Egum's lost dog. Click go. Let's see what it comes up from scratch. So it gave us something pretty short. What you can do is that you can come here and you can redraft. You can also translate it to all these different languages. Now I don't really, well, I guess I know a bit of Spanish, so we could translate this to Spanish. Now it has this in Spanish for you Spanish speakers out there. You can let me know how well this did, but now it's written in Spanish and then we can always translate this back to English. And I want this to be lengthened. So I'm going to click lengthen here so that it adds more to the email. See what it does. How this email finds you in good health and that you are managing to stay strong through these challenging times. I wanna take a moment to reach out to you and express my deepest sympathy for the loss of your beloved dog. I can only imagine how devastating it must be to bid farewell to such a loyal and cherished companion. Our pets hold a special place in our hearts. Oh, this is great. Yup, this is great. And what's, what I like about this is that I didn't even have to edit the prompt. You see, I could have edited the prompt and said, hey, add 500 more words, do this, do that. But pretty much AI knowing kind of what I would want more or less, it's now making a little bit of like an essay to send to this person or rather me for this. And obviously I could read through this whole thing and I'm sure there may be certain things that I would want to tweak, but this is a much more heartfelt, much more thoughtful, much more in depth email that I'm about to send, which could work. And you can also give it a different vibe. You can make it formal and you can make it casual. So I do like a lot of what I'm getting. And of course you can always redraft this. And like I said, you can always edit the actual prompt itself if you would like. So in this prompt, we're going to make it at least 200 words and see if it gets it right on the very first try. Now I did want it to do 200 words. Let's see if it did that. So it did in fact do 200 words. In fact, it did 259 words. So again, this, this AI, it already did such a great, great, great job. I remember the many times I saw you and your dog together, each moment filled with happiness. Uh, so it does assume a few things, which I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. I mean, obviously I'm just telling a, obviously this is just an example. I don't have a dog. I'm literally just talking to myself, which is why you would want to reread what your AI is writing because it will assume certain things because it kind of has to. It, I mean, it's writing a letter on your behalf. All you can do is tell it what to do and then it's going to assume 
what you want to write. I mean, if there were negative prompts, that might help us control it a little bit further, but I can't be mad at the stage at which it's in because this is new and they're still trying to figure out what the user would want when it comes to getting their emails written for them. But it, it assumed that I had a personal experience with the owner and his dog you know but i i mean i didn't it never existed please know that i'm here for you during this difficult time may the memories of your dear dog continue to bring you peace and warmth so this is a really great email i actually like it a lot it also comes up with the subject line for you and you can always use secure send which like i said it encrypts the email so we have a great email here what would happen is that again you would type your name you can always get rid of that sent from canary thing and then of course if you want to you can proofread it as well and then adjust it as well if you'd like but it looks like it's good to go. All you do is click send and now your email is out. Oh, and by the way, Canary AI is completely free to use. In fact, if you look at this little bar right here, pro trial, 26 days left, it shows that right now I am on the free trial that gives me the ability to use the pro version of Canary AI. And just to let you know what comes with the pro version, it is a lot of the features that I just showed you, which would be the sidekick AI for composing, you know, having AI write your emails for you, read your emails for you. You know, it does come with a lot of other features like pinned emails and attachment browsers, like the red receipts and the email templates and all these different things. I mean, it comes with a lot. And of course, listen, it's completely completely free you don't have to put your credit card in so I'm over here using this uh, I'm enjoying the pro trial it gives me 26 days to see how much I really like it and if I end up liking it one of the better things I gotta say is that it's only $20 for the whole year that's not bad and it's $59.99 for a lifetime account so sixty dollars for a lifetime of ai that comes with all the updates all the upgrades to your email client software i'm not going to lie and say that i have it right now but it's something i'm genuinely thinking about especially when you compare it to a lot of other ai softwares that people are trying to use to be able to integrate into their email situations already like chat gbt plus which is twenty dollars a month instead you can already start using a software that comes with a lot of this built in for $60 for life? It's something to genuinely think about and I'm thinking about it myself. Let me know what you guys end up doing with this offer. I think I might pull the trigger on this. If I do, I'll let you know in a pinned comment. From what I'm seeing so far, I am definitely enjoying the experience. And you have the mobile version, which if you wanted the Mac and the mobile version, it would be $9.99 for life or $34.99 for the year, which again, it all depends on what's in your budget, but both are really, really good. And the mobile option is just as great and as robust as the desktop version. So I recommend it for anyone who's out here trying to use these uh, programs. Right here on the right side, which I think is, an, is a wonderful feature, is this AI chat assistant, which pretty much kind of scrolls through your emails along with your calendar. If you link it to your calendar, it'll kind of discuss with you what you can start working on throughout the day um, maybe plan out the week so on and so forth so right now I do make a few memes I have a meme page that I'm creating and so I was going to make memes today at 1 p at 1 p.m. so it made sure to put that there it also says hi Chuck Valley what would you like to do today read important new emails send pending replies see upcoming events unsubscribe newsletters see who read your emails which is another really cool feature canary allows you to see who read your emails now as much as I do love that feature, we all know that seeing having someone be able to see your email isn't really the same as having someone being able to see your text because people can look at your emails and still do nothing. So a much better metric that I hope that they add is whether or not they click on links in your emails, whether or not they interact with your emails, that would be better. But still though, being able to read your emails is also a pretty big game changer. So one thing I'm gonna do with the chat assistant is that I'm gonna ask it, give me five emails from the updates category. So it gave me some emails from the spread shop, from Google Analytics, from YouTube Premium, from Patreon, from Jeff from Calendly. So that's pretty cool. And then again, you can always see the emails that it's trying to refer you from. And as you can see, it showed me the emails. But of course, again, I'm not liking the fact that it gave me emails from a long time ago. Let's try this again. Give me five emails from the updates category in the last week. So it did give me some emails from the updates category from the last week. So let's just double check 
what they're talking about here and yes in fact i'm seeing right here you can see ben's bites daily digest and again if you want to see the category the category is right here on the left side and side so if i click personal it'll show you some of my more personal messages if i click social it'll show you some of the socials you see a lot of facebook messages and if you see updates you'll see some of the um, ai messages that i'm talking about and so it shows you ben's bites daily digest more ai in 2024 you see that's the email right there it shows me another one daily digest just a lot of money flying around and it says that that email is from the 27th of December so if we actually just kind of fast forward all the way to wherever that is you see look daily digest a lot of money flying around and you see the 28th it says NYT sues open AI so I do wish that I did it in order I don't know why they put the 27th before the 28th that means I had to scroll down further before coming back up I'm not a fan of that and if you click see all it shows you pretty much all of the emails that it's referring to but I only want to see the five emails so it has a few kinks in it but not bad though from summarizing your emails to writing emails for you and being able to collect emails on your behalf for you to just kind of skim through everything this software is well on its way to becoming a game changing software for the emailing space. I highly recommend you guys all to check it out and stay up to date with it. Listen, your man Chukubuigam is happy to help. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Peace.